Hello everyone and welcome to the final installment of Dune Month. Okay, now before I get on to the review proper, first uh, an honorable mentions list of uh, just uh, random of um, stuff that I'll, I'll give like a brief talk about it, but you know, uh, I'm not going to do like full on reviews of it. First would be the a short story compilation simply known as I. Now on this uh, compilation there is a short story entitled Road to Dune. Now the setting of this story is that it's like a, a pilgrim's guidebooks I guess and um, <clears throat> and like it takes place shortly after the Dune Messiah and like I said the whole guidebook and talking about Iraq and stuff I think the, it's kind of like, um, the, the first, like I said, the reason why I'm not really going to do any review of this is essentially two reasons. First, of course, is that I was unable to find a copy. I didn't know it even existed until, like, when I was doing the whole Dune, until the whole Dune Month thing. And, um, I couldn't find a copy, but now that I really think about it, I probably sh shouldn't because if I'm like going to review a book or something or a compilation, it should be the whole compilation, not just uh, the one little short story or whatever. It should be, um, you know, the, all the stories, all the things that they have in common and so forth. And since th apart from this one short story, it really doesn't have anything to do with the whole Dune universe or anything Dune related. So, <clears throat> yeah. The second would be the Dune Encyclopedia. Now, this whole thing is essentially, um, like, um, like, it, well, like I said, an encyclopedia. And I'm not really going to review this, mainly because, uh, first and foremost, it's not considered canon, but... Mostly is because it's just an encyclopedia type thing. Um, like I've seen plenty of encyclopedias on different uh, f different fictitious stuff. Star Wars, Star Trek, Halo, and so forth. And, um, well, <clears throat> now all, all these encyclopedias really are just like cliff notes and so forth of whatever it is they're talking about don't really need to talk about them because I already don't really need to read the encyclopedia because I already read the books. And even so, now that I think about it, there even these encyclopedias are kind of pointless since you can just look up anything on Wikipedia or a wiki anything, really. So, kind of uh, pointless. The la last thing would be um, Dreamer of Dune. It's... Uh, Basically, it's a biography of Frank Herbert, the guy who created the Dune universe, the Dune series. Why am I not going to review this? Well, first off is that, um, really, yeah, the guy made the, invented, created the Dune franchise, but that's kind of all it really has to do with the overall Dune story. But mostly, it's it's just a biography. How, how am I supposed to review a biography, I mean, right? I mean, yeah, I've reviewed uh, stuff with an autobiographical format before, like uh, Fitzpatrick's War or Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, but those those were different. Those were fictitious or fact or about a factual person, but with a fictitious twist on it. So, like, it's, it's really. So, I don't really think I can actually put a review on a biography, although I'll, I'll, I'll just say this. Um, if you're a hardcore Frank Herbert fan, then I guess I'd recommend it, I guess. Though, if you're all, or a hardcore Frank Herbert fan, you probably already know of this and have already read it, so the recommendation is kind of a waste of time. Anyway, um, on to the review proper. Now, um, the la for the last thing I'm going to be talking about would be the, um, this, The Road to Dune, <clears throat> by Frank Herbert, 
Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Now the um, now there is um, first there's the there's a Spice Planet, which is um, supposed to be some sort of like a, like a, how Dune was originally supposed to be, I guess. And there's um, I, I really enjoyed this um, oh, this uh, one this story because um, I mean there, there's a lot of stuff different about it, like the um, if instead of um, the Atreides, they're called the they're called uh, Jesse Linkham and his son Boro and so forth, and it's not about Paul. I mean, it's not about the son. It's about the father, uh, Jess, Jesse himself, and about his challenge about mining more spice than uh, the Hosk than his rival, Baldemar Hoskonar, or Hoskonar. Yeah. Any. Anyway, um, yeah, it's kind of um comparing this to the original to Dune. Um, I, I really enjoy I enjoyed this about as much. For starters, there's um, um, the the planet itself, Arrakis. In this version, there the uh, ecology is much more explained. You know, they've had, they've uh, been um, as far as this story is concerned, they've been there for like a I think 20 or so years and they've um, you know been learning about how to mine spice about the ecology of Arrakis and so forth but then again in the um, whereas in the original Dune they, they've occupied the planet for over like 10,000 years or so and, and they still know little to nothing which is um, why? Because, as far as I can tell, everyone is just too stupid and lazy to bother learning, except for, um, like, the the emperors are pretty much kind of stu too stupid and lazy, the Harkonnens are too stupid and lazy because they only want to mind spice and they don't really care about anything else. The only people that, uh, the Space and Guild are taking bribes from the, from the Fremen, and the Fremen, for the most part, unless it comes from, you know, um, like direct survival, have been, for the most part, too stupid and lazy to bother trying to understand the ecology of the, of the planet they live on. The only times they, the only, the first time they actually bother try learning about, you know, the biology of the sandworms and so forth, is was when Pardot kind. Pardot Kynes came to the planet. Um, but then again, this one also has a big flaw, which is the big challenge that sends Jesse Linkham into to Arrakis. Like, wh why does um, Valdemar Hos Hos Hoskonar, you know, make this challenge and so forth? Is it because of some rivalry? Is it because of I, I don't know. He, other nobles are jealous and want to have a shot at, um, you know, going to Arrakis. And, is it shits and giggles? Anything? Um, but um, anyway, um, and also you kind of have to wonder why um, Jesse Linkham accepts this challenge to mine spice because at no point I, at for the most part throughout the beginning of the of this story. He doesn't seem to really have any particular desire or care about going to Iraq about the spice or any of that stuff. It's not until later on, so yeah. But overall, I still like the main story of the spice planet. And it also there's other stuff and, and beside the spice planet, there's planet there's also other stuff like um <clears throat> stories about uh, behind the scenes um, kind of stuff that was um, like the story of how they found the all of the different notes and papers that belonged to Frank Herbert, the safety deposit box that they found like a decade after Frank Herbert's death, a um, various letters to and from Frank Herbert to various other people. Also, in addition to that, there are also uh, deleted and extended chapters from. Dune and Dune Messiah, 
There's a collection of uh, short stories, most of which that take place during the Butler Age Jihad. And like it, so um, ba pretty much, um, so this is this is more. This book is probably more comparable to that of like um, a DVD, you, you know, where you have the movie and the, all that extra stuff and so forth. That's essentially what this is. You have the like the main story and a bunch of extra goodies, and for that, in my opinion, I give this a full five stars. I mean, the the story I really enjoyed, and because you know I thought felt it was very imaginative and so forth, and in addition to that, what really pushed it over all the way up to five stars would be like <clears throat> the the main story would put it like maybe four stars, but then you, when you add all that extra stuff, then it suddenly pushes it up re really higher, more way higher than before. And I think that uh, all people who are already major Dune fans are going to like all this extra stuff. And I think do new people will also enjoy it, because I would think that the deleted chapters and so forth would sort of encourage them into thinking like, into wanting to check out the original book or the other the other Dune novels so yeah it's just a great enjoyable read and I and I once and I, and I just highly recommend it go go out check it out yeah <clears throat> anyway um till next time um well see ya <laughs>